When judging a dog, there are many aspects to consider. Standards for the different breeds are specified by the Kennel Club of Great Britain, with the overriding principle to keep the breed sound and healthy. Margaret Fulcher, here with her 10-month-old puppy called Tamsin, won the best puppy in breed at this competition. She lives in Suffolk, where she's a keen breeder of whippets. She's judged hounds herself at many shows, and we asked her to tell us how a judge assesses a dog in the show ring. So first of all, the judge will look at the overall picture of the dog, the conformation and the way she stands, and you can get a general idea of the, what you're looking for from that first picture. And then when you actually handle it, you then actually have to have a good look at the head, it's got to be balanced from here to here. The eye shape has got to be right. The teeth have got to be right, overlapping the bottom teeth. The ears have to be what they call rose-shaped, with a little bend in them to hold them right. And then we have come to the neck, which has to be a nice length of neck, coming into a good shoulder, which is well laid back from here, from here up to here, a nice lay back of shoulder. Then you also have the angle of the upper arm, which is from here down to here, an angle there. And then you get a nice top line, slight rise over the line, nice depth. She's only a puppy, so she's not so mature as some. Nice underline, going up into a tuck up. Then you get your fall away, nice tail set, a nice length of tail, which should come past the hock, a nice angulation at the rear. And that's your finished picture. But then a lot of it will depend on movement. The one you write really, really like might have terrible movement. Elbows might be touching and legs turning out sideways and um, what they call cow hot at the back with the hocks touching. So you couldn't possibly put it up, even though it's a really, really nice dog, because the movement is terrible. So, which is disappointing, you know, when you've seen a dog you really like. It's better to have some nice dogs to go over and have that position where you've got several that you could pull out and, you know, and have a quandary about it, but you enjoy doing it because they're all lovely dogs. Yeah. But you don't like putting the other ones down, really, because they could easily win on another day. If that one didn't move so well another day, that would be up on the first place, you know, and the other one would be second. They've got to be fit and well covered and, you know, look the part, when they move round they've got to be out there striding along and happy and keen to do it, you know.